Fresh Club. Today I'm going to teach you how to avoid bitter cooked spinach. There's a lot of ways you can avoid um, bitter spinach when you're cooking it. One of the best ways is to choose young, tender spinach. It has a lower amount of oxalic acid, which is what causes the bitterness in the spinach when you cook it. Um, today, though, I only have these very large somewhat tough leaves, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a pretty high oxalic content. So the best way to get rid of the oxalic acid is to boil the spinach. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. You want nice, salty water. Um, whenever I cook things in boiling water, I like to make it about as salty as ocean water, so it seasons the vegetable or pasta, anything you're cooking in boiling water, perfectly. And so the water's at a nice rolling boil, and we're gonna add in a little bit at a time. And it doesn't take very long, just a couple minutes. Other things you can do to avoid um, bitter cooked spinach is cook it with oil. Um, you can also add any other type of oil besides just cooking with oil. You can add mayonnaise into your spinach. Um, anything with calcium and milk is also good to help reduce that bitter flavor. And um, yeah, boiling it. Unfortunately, there's one drawback to boiling, um, and that is when you reduce, when, when you cook the spinach in direct water, it also reduces the amount of vitamin C as much as it reduces the oxalic acid. So it's kind of a little give and take. You can always add in that vitamin C back in by cooking with citrus or anything else that has a lot of vitamin C in it to kind of replace it, but that is the way to end up with delicious, not bitter, spinach. That's great. This is Laura's Market Fresh Club and you just learned how to avoid bitter cooked spinach.